guys, welcome back to the channel now. If you are new here and you are seeing my lovely face for the first time, please don't forget to hit that like button, share this video and subscribe to the channel. Now, today's video is a film review and it's been and it's a film review of one of the films that I've seen in the past couple of weeks. It's a really good film, it's called It's Venom Let There Be Carnage. <laughs> Now, with this film, I expected just, didn't expect much. I expected quite a few things, but it was kind of mostly the similar same things from the first Venom film, but it's actually pretty different. It's actually a lot of things have happened since we last saw Venom and Eddie Brock and Tom Hardy. So, and have actually, Andy Serkis has taken the franchise and made a really good sequel. And the, added addition of just Woody Harrelson is just brilliant and I love Woody Harrelson he's a really really good one of those like, comedic timing actors he just brings just makes everything better so he, again he just made everything better and the interesting way that they brought Carnage into it is actually quite unique and something I don't think it's in the comics I think it's related to the comics but not actually properly seen in the comics. As for the relationship between Eddie and Venom from the first film, it's kind of carried on a bit. It's definitely, it's still there. It's just new dynamics and new thin and it just works. They eventually, it's like really, really strong bond together that they have to have. So no wonder it's like those two are perfect for each other. And it's like the, these, and the other new characters of like Carnage and of Carnage and, and all this kind of stuff and even the new detective in this is actually pretty memorable it's actually it's relatively memorable this is one of those films where most of the characters are pretty memorable in this and that's why I believe that this film is definitely it's definitely a good one I did hear mixed reviews because some people didn't like it but for me it does what it's supposed to do. It's an action-packed drama of a film that Venom is. And the designs on Carnage and Venom are again up to task compared to what we've had in the past with Spider-Man 3 and all that kind of stuff. So in all in all, the film itself is brilliant. And then the end credit sequel just just goes and blows all of that away. It's like it just added height to what we've just seen. So and I won't reveal that because that is huge, huge spoilers, so I won't do that. But that is pretty much a good film and a neat and a really good end credit scene to tease us for what's to come for Venom. So it is really, really exciting what's going to come with Marvel. So that's the end of this film review, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Peace out.